Hi there, so today I'm just going to show you a little bit of code to be cautious of with CSS um, when building accessible e-learning. The w3schools.com website has got some fantastic templates of, of how to build different um, funky little tricks like these um, flip cards, lots of different buttons and such. And CSS is, is a really great tool for like kind of making nice slick animations and um, and smooth kind of graphics and such. Um, you can integrate it with a lot of the authoring tools out there, like um, you know Storyline and Lectoral that you just um, integrate kind of custom CSS code um, into um, your um, your e-learning within that um, software. And then there are other tools like um, bootstrap so like kind of you know coded templates um which are really great uh, especially like kind of bootstrap with the way it works in columns its responsiveness is, is brilliant for things like reflow um with accessibility and again you can integrate css code into bootstrap to make like kind of really eye-catching and engaging content but what you've got to be aware of is that um, little tricks from websites like this aren't always built to be accessible immediately. So this is quite a commonly used um, flip card um, which, um, which you can hover over and it shows some content behind. So it can be used almost a bit like a click and reveal uh, in e-learning content. So I've just got the, so what I've done here is I've just clicked the try it yourself and it shows you the code kind of written out that, that you can grab and put into your um, into your own um, code uh, which is is which kind of builds this this hover here and obviously you can tweak it to have your own image and your own text on the background um, and whatnot so what I've done is I've just grabbed this little um, code here but I've also just put some alert buttons at the top of it which it, it's literally it's just another one of these templates um, that were available just one of the just the first button template and the only purpose I've done I've put those at the top there is just so you can see the black border so you can see where my focus is when I'm using keyboard when I'm navigating with keyboard by using tab which is the common way to, to um, keyboard navigate with tab so all of this code at the top here were actually it's just something I've just copied and pasted in there just for the purpose of showing you um, the problem with this button uh, or you know flip card um, down here. So you'll see that when I tab by keyboard, in fact actually to even better present this issue, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this again. I'm going to put it at the bottom of this as well so you can see the buttons at the bottom and the top so we can see keyboard focus quite easily so tab 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 and then we're on the default button now and then as you can see I'm tabbing underneath the image now so this flip card is completely inaccessible to someone who is just going to be using keyboard now a screen reader can still get to this text on the back of it. Um, you, you, you can hear it, you'll hear it through focus if you're going through reading. But someone who isn't using a screen reader and just using keyboard, because um, they might have you know, um, motor skill issues with a mouse, um, anything like that, they're not going to be able to access that information behind um, this flip card here but it's really easy to kind of be aware of these kind of issues. So if you're ever hovering over something and that, that instigates like kind of an action, that should be your red alarm in this sense. So my example here is a flip card, but there can be you know other things that you might use where you hover to interact with it. So, but that should be a, um, an alarm bell for you because what you're probably gonna see is, is that a keyboard user is gonna have trouble to get around that. But all we're gonna do is just add two very simple lines of code into the um, flip card code here and then um, and that's going to fix it so if I go to the flip card code 
which is from here. Okay, so if I just, so this is what the flip card is on its own. So if you just look in and it's on its own. And then this line here is the first line that we're gonna look at. So this flip card hover, flip card inner, this is the action which, which kind of instigates the, the interaction. So we can see that it's just doing it on flip card hover. Okay, so if I go into my version here, I found that line of code as well, flip card hover. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna pop a comma behind it. And then I'm just gonna remove the flip card hover and change that to focus within. So now two different actions are going to instigate that flip, hopefully, um, which will be flip card hover and flip card focus within. And they're gonna show this transform here. But the issue is, is the, 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 the reason why we're going to do two lines of code, two little changes to this, is because this is, it, it's not ever expecting to be focused on because it's just getting instigated by a mouse hover. So it never expects to be focused on. So we need to make sure that this object recognizes that it can be focused on. So again, if I just go into the flip card on its own, um, just so you're not seeing all of the, the code from the alert buttons as well. You'll see that we've got the HTML section down here. Um, just the, the heading uh, and then we've got the, the HTML at the bottom at the bottom here, this section here. So we've got div class flip card. So in this here, so we'll find that same section in my one now. a look there we go div class flip card I'm just going to go tab index equals zero so if you give something a tab index of zero it means that it is tabbable and if it's a zero it just puts it as as its tab order within the structure of your code so just whatever's above it in the code is going to be tabbed to first and whatever's behind it in the code is going to be tabbed to after this um, it just does it by the structure if, if you're wanting to make a more complex um, place where it gets focused to you can change this number to one two three four but then you kind of have to continue that hierarchy of, of tab index so we just need to put tab index zero on this one for now. So we've now got an action which is gonna recognize focus within. It's gonna do this transform, and then we've given it a tab index as well. So it recognizes that it can be focused on. So fingers crossed this should work now. So if I run it, I'm gonna click just above here, just so we get focus back to this section, and then we've got success info, and hopefully, hallelujah. There we go. So that is now a completely accessible flip card which used to only work on hover but now a keyboard user can tab through it so there you go just two tiny lines of code and you've got an accessible flip card that didn't used to be accessible so thanks ever so much for watching hope that was hope that was useful for you and just get in touch if you want any other tips or tricks take care